is up my people Jaxby the Ripper here so in my last Q&A well actually I've been asked ask this more than once not just in Q&A's or anything like that um, I've been asked like can you please do your makeup collection video and the answer to that is still no but however something came to mind and I just realized something I was like wait a minute there's a lot of metal heads out there that like to wear makeup even the guys when it comes to corpse paint or when it comes to guy liner for the guys or you know even girls just want a little liner and that's it so I didn't think about that and I didn't think about how that could be helpful to you guys so I am going to start with the men offers in this situation just because I'm trying to put this in sections here because I know the guys are not going to want to see eyeshadow palettes and primers and setting sprays even though primers and settings, setting sprays are kind of necessary for that too but anyways I digress let's go ahead and get into it. I know everybody buys that cheap Halloween greasy shit that really like bugs your skin there are better brands out there you might have to get it online maybe not all of you have a Nigel's Beauty Emporium or some kind of pro makeup shop like I do and if you have a costume shop they might have it there but just to let you know they are going to charge you way more you might as well just get it online and when I mean way more, like they will go like triple the price. Trust me, I've seen it. There's a local costume shop not too far from me. That shit was ridiculous. So anyways, let me just go ahead and show you like this palette I have for them. This is by Mayron. This is a pastel one. Don't worry. You don't, they have variety of colors and on us, we just really need black, white, maybe silver and maybe red. I cannot find my individual ones right now because I have like an individual um, circular pan that's with black and then I have one that's white and then I have a silver one too and I have a red one too. The only thing with Mayron, don't worry, I'm going to name other brands in just a minute. The Mayron ones smell like coconut. So if you don't like the smell of coconut, then don't get this one. There is another brand called Wolf Effects. I'll leave it right here or like, you know, I'm going to leave like a bunch of pictures as, as I can. Wolf Effects has like three different sizes, I believe. So just to let you know, in case one comes out more than the other, you probably just chose the bigger size. And the other one is Graftopia. Graftopia is a great brand too. I've used plenty of their makeup before. Love it. Great professional brand. So just to let you know, though, you will need water to activate this. So you'll have to put it like in a spray bottle, something like this. And then just spritz it a couple times, go in with your brush, and then your magic is right there. Easy to blend out. You're not going to feel the itchiness whatsoever. Trust me, when I've done like sugar skulls on like um, when I used to do like on set makeup, like the girls loved it. They just like they loved the fact that it wasn't like the Ben Nye ones or like the cheap clown makeup that you'll get from like Halloween or like you know the horror makeup. They're like, oh my god, it doesn't itch my face, Is there's no rash or anything, and probably because I think those have like a ton of mineral oil, that's why. So yeah, you're going to love this. Also, if for some reason you need something right now, right the fuck right now, I'm going to let you know what you got to do. Go to your nearest drugstore, chemist store, uh, wherever you live, I think you guys call them chemist stores in the UK, I'm not sure. Get you gel liners. This is a brand called NYX. Now, NYX has affordable gel liners um i've done this a couple times when i did the uh, abith um what's it called the abith um makeup just because i wanted something quick and it was right there like i said i can't find my black one my black mayron paint whatsoever so if you need it like right now they have like like four colors to choose from so they have a white a white one as well and i think they have like two different types of brown sometimes i think depending on the season they'll come out with like a different colors if you need a different color if not then don't worry you just basically need these two colors only thing is with gel liner they're not that easily to like blend out it's something you kind of have to like build more um because gel liners were just basically made for the eyes just to smoke it out just a little bit that way you can put your eyeshadow on top so it can stay still um but yes i do recommend that in fact i will leave I am going to leave at the end of the video, like, you know, where you click on videos because I have one of, like, doing a King, a King Diamond makeup and I have, like, other stuff that I'm going to leave for other people. But yes, definitely, definitely um, put a little bit of black eyeshadow on top of the um, the eyelid just because the eyelids are more oily, oily, te te ugh, cannot talk. I need water because I'm going to be doing a lot of talking in this video. So that is why you should use like um, eyeshadow on top just to like, you know, help set it. 
or even like a clear translucent powder if you want. And also I do recommend, you could use this actually, um, these gel liners obviously on the waterline too, get like an angle brush. And if you need brushes, and I know, like I always tell people, or guys especially, sneak into your girlfriends or your sisters or whoever's makeup collection, see what brushes she has. You might want to clean them though, because I, you won't believe 90% of girls do not clean their makeup brushes, and that's why they have bad acne and pink eye. So please get a brush cleaner. You don't even need that. Just get a little bit of Dawn soap um, or any kind of like dishwashing soap. Just put a little bit on your hand, wet the brush, cleanse it because you do not want pink eye. You don't know where your sister has been. Of course, I can't find an angle brush right now, but you could even use like a little fine detail little brush like that um, just for the waterline. And like get, when you go to Michael's and you get brushes, try to get like those individual ones like, you know, with the flat one and with like the little angle ones because they're really good to get in like those little tiny areas. So I definitely suggest you to like try to find a brush that has that. Oh, here's an angle brush. So yeah, angle brushes are usually the, the, the easiest to go with um, to do like any kind of liner work. So yeah. Um, and also guys, um, if you really, really need, like if you're really oily, I suggest to get, oh God, Mayron has, okay, Mayron, the website I just showed you, they have a setting spray. Usually all these sites have a setting spray. Um, theirs is a little bit more cheaper and affordable and they do work. Um, Crayon, be careful though. like. I like their setting spray, but that shit smells like vodka, so do not smoke near it at all whatsoever. Do not light a, a lighter or anything like that. Um, but I just hate the pump. They break easily. That was my issue with it. And a lot of my clients, when I used to do freelance, they didn't really like it because it smelled like vodka. They were just like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm inhaling it. So, But if you could go to Macy's or Ulta or um, if you want to spend a little bit more, um, who else? Sephora um, carries these. These are by Urban Decay. This is the All Nighty Setting Spray. I love these. It doesn't smell horrible or anything like that. Scandinavia owns them, so you can also get it through Scandinavia. Um, but if not, the Mayron Setting Spray, that one was really good. I believe it was $8. That was a while ago. They might have raised up the prices already. Um, so it's an affordable one, and it's smaller, so you're probably not even going to get through it. So it does hold up your makeup well. And if you're really like i said oily use a face primer i'm gonna leave pictures around here somewhere because i really don't have like a face primer to show you especially the brands i'm recommending again if you have the budget get smashbox don't get don't be cheap and really if you're oily go for something that's mattifying if you're more on the drier side go for something that more that's, that's hydrating really drier skins could get away with like any of them you're also going to see like purple and green Ignore those ones. You probably won't need them. The purple one, I think, for Smashbox is for pore minimizing, but usually it means to cancel out yellowness. I don't know if you're more on the red tone. The green ones are to cancel out red. Don't even worry about those because they did not did that much of a great job in my experience of using them in the past. Makeup Forever has like the best one of all, but again, it's a little bit. That one's even more pricier than Smashbox. And if you want something affordable, I suggest going. I think Revlon and Maybelline, and even Wet n Wild in the drugstore have really good primers and NYX does too. I used to use the NYX one. It was basically a knockoff for the Smashbox one. So yeah, and if you have coupons, dude, you're, you're, you got it made. You got it made right there. So so yeah, that is it for the guy. Oh, one more thing. I, maybe you just want a regular coal liner. Okay, so I am not that familiar with drugstore brands when it comes to their like regular pencil liners like these. Oh, yeah. Like these, this is a MAC one, so just, I, I know this is a MAC one, um, but I'm just showing you as a, I'm just showing you like an example, that's it. Um, if I remember correctly, the, the brand Milani, a lot of people love their like eyeliners. Um, so if you want to like do on the waterline for do any kind of guy liner or anything like that, people said they loved it because it was waterproof, but you do have to like smudge it out real quick and blend it out if you're doing a guy liner because it does dry quick so just to let you know that or like i said you could just go in with a gel liner just get use like a little smudgy brush like this dip it in smudge it out and that's it so anyways that is it for the guys thank you fellas for sticking around that's for um that's all i know for the men's makeup right there and if you really want to know anything else um, that might help you because like I said, we always, you know, we're in 2020. We should be allowed to do whatever we want to our fucking face now despite if you're a man or a woman. So unless your job is like minimal makeup or something like that, then that's different. So anyways, now moving on to the lady. Okay, ladies. So I already 
spoke a little bit about eyeliners in um, the guy section because I was talking about gel liners. So when it comes to gel liners, uh, me, um, my preference is the Inglot one. I'll leave a picture around here somewhere. Mine is like almost to an end and it's dried out and it's nasty and you don't need to see it. That was my favorite. At that time, I believe years ago when I bought it, it was like $11. Now, I don't know because you know prices go up every year or every couple years or however it's done So I'm just letting you know, but if you want a cheaper alternative the NYX ones work very very well Every now and then they'll come out with like pastel ones. I believe they discontinued the past pastel ones and Some of them were okay. They were really drying, but they weren't my favorite um, But however just to let you know every gel liner dries out Okay, and every gel liner it doesn't matter what brand it is from high end to low end if you could get this, this is basically liquid silicone as I get it. This could make your uh, foundations HD. Remember when everybody wanted an HD foundation, even though nobody really needs an HD foundation unless you're an actress or you know, you're know you into inter entertainment business. Um, you just need a drop. You could put this in your foundation. You could put this in your eyebrow pomade. You could put this in your gel liner. I mean, literally like just a drop, like go in, because sometimes I overdo it. Like. Literally dip it the tiniest amount you can and then just put it in your brush or get a dropper if you want. Um, but if it's yours, just yours, you could just use your uh, use a clean brush, has to be clean, dip it in there and just dip it one time. One time inside the inside the um the gel liner and that's it. Because trust me, you don't want it too liquidy because then you gotta wait till it dries up a little bit and then use it. But this will activate anything. It's you only need a small one because I guarantee you, you're not going to go through all of it. But I like using gel liners because when I do like that Taylor Moms and Smoky Eye, you need to put something in the bottom of it. If you don't want to use a gel liner, you could use a pencil one, uh, a pencil I mean. Um, Milani again has like a great one um, that I've heard about, but I don't use Milani. Um, I, I just don't have it. That's what it is. I do need to get some cheaper drugstore makeup so I can like put it into these videos because I have a lot of high end stuff. Urban Decay has a really good one. I don't know why. Okay. From when I was taught when I was working in cosmetics, like the reason why people come out with multiple, multiple lines of the same shit but call it something differently it's just the fact that they're trying to push more products onto people so they can make more money it's just a very cheap thing for them to do but they have one called the 24 7 waterproof eye pencil this is the one you're going to want if you don't want to use gel liner you just got to work very quick if you're going to put it on the eyelid i just don't like using pencils on the eyelid because they tug a lot and you're trying to reduce wrinkles as much as you can the other one you could go with that is really um, blendable is a 24-7 glide-on pencil called Zero. This one's Zero and this one is Legend. So Zero is not that waterproof even though it says 24-7. It's like water resistant but it ain't like waterproof. But you know either one. Stay away from the perversion one. I didn't like the perversion. That one was just stupid. Just stay away from that. Um, I don't know why they need three black pencils like really you just need one or maybe two if you don't like waterproof but that's about it it's just yeah it's stupid so uh, the other liners i like is i like mac mac has like any eyeliner color you want if you want to be more experimental i know us you know i'm trying to i know this is more specific for like the smoky eye girls but you know if you want it i like a, like i like putting like blue or white underneath right here just because you could really it makes my eye color my blue eye stand out more that's why i put blue underneath mascaras really is just whatever you guys prefer to choose again i have a high-end mascaras my favorite is the mr big from lancome i like the charlotte tilbury one it's the fatty lashes one and i like i like the super fans by smashbox this one will make it look like you have false eyelashes this is great to wear when you don't feel like wearing makeup and you just need a little mascara oh my goodness your lashes i'm wearing it right now i don't know if you can really i don't know what's a good cheap mascara if you if you ladies or anybody could tell me or fellas even fellas if you guys could tell me please let me know because i do want to try some also i majority have cruelty free makeup because i know that's really important to people um the only two brands that i don't have that's cruelty free in my collection and in my in my like freelance kit is mac 
and Lancome. Those are the only ones that are not cruelty free. And the way, and I know they tell you that they're cruelty free, basically that means they buy products that was tested on animals. That's because they didn't test it. That's why they say they're cruelty free, but really that's not cruelty free. You're buying tested products that are tested on animals still. And you sell in China. So you cannot be cruelty free if you sell in China, just to let you know. Um, anyways, now to eyeshadows. The one I'm wearing right now, I love Smashbox. It's like, I try to stay away from the Estee Lauder brands, but I can't. So but Smashbox just wins my heart all the time. I don't like their foundations. I have problems with their foundation. But if you're a smoky eye girl, because like I said, a majority of like, you know, rocker girls rather be goths or whether it be... Uh, metalheads or emos this is a perfect palette and then they have like one of their eyeshadows is called slayer it's the gray one let me how can you not love that and this is the colors right here the only thing i will say this reddish color right here is crap absolutely crap it's not pigmented whatsoever i have to go in with like an eye pencil like a, a reddish eye like one of these eye pencils oh my god you guys can invest in these it's not really you'll be fine with gel liner but you can invest in different color these these are the lancome ones they are great super waterproof so I'll have to go in with one of those just for it to stay. But you could do a neutral color. You could do a smoky eye like I did. That silver one is great. Oh my god, that green one. I fucking love that green. I, I'm a green eyeshadow girl for sure. Green is my favorite color because you haven't been able to tell what my room. Technically, it's teal. But I go for anything green just because I know when people are shopping for me, they're like, oh, what's a teal? So, Oh, this is like around $29 just to let you know. But sometimes they'll have it on sale like if you go to like Ulta or Macy's because they're going down Macy, so they're trying to do anything they can to get sales. <clears throat> I'm not being petty. But anyways, next up right here is the Tati Beauty palette. I was not thinking I was gonna like it that much, but it ended up being a really good palette. Only thing is like, this is the volume one, so hopefully volume two will be much more cooler tones that would go well with this black one. I'm not saying any of these can, but I know like us like, rocker girls we tend to go more for the cool tones but if you don't mind having a warm-up look like me because i go for anything obviously because i just love makeup and i'm a makeup artist and it's just i fucking love it so the uh, only thing is i will say this row right here the aura one it is not that light as it seems it's really um more on like the peachy side so it's going to be kind of dark but they all blend so well together it's amazing metallics on the other hand you got be careful because metallicas are not really known they're just more like a topper color color in my opinion uh, so they don't blend in well with the rest but they're really good just to put on the top the metallics um, you might have to like wet your brush or use your finger um, to put that on so you can see more of the intensity and the the glitters I'm not usually a glitter fan I was always taught to avoid glitter because when I was freelancing, glitter was the STD of makeup. It was like herpes. It just keeps coming back no matter how much you think you clean everything well. But since I'm not doing freelance hardly that much anymore, I've been playing with glitters and these are the best. I love the Tofty formula. I do hope she comes out with a cool tone palette and she could add some greens to it. That would be great. An eyeshadow palette that's on the affordable side is by Makeup Obsession. It's just basically the sister brand of Makeup Revolution. I am not that big on Makeup Revolution, so I was in shock how much I love Makeup Obsession because the times I tried Makeup Revolution, I'm just like, I don't really like the shadows. They're not that pigmented. But this one's called Black is the New Black. These colors kind of remind me of the Venus Immortals palette by Lime Crime, and I was close to getting that one, but then I heard people say it was such garbage and you couldn't even like get any pigmentation out this is fairly decent this is like a dream come true this is a palette that you wish you had back in your like your little like emo nostalgic um agonistic ways back when you were like 13 all the way to like 17 so this is a perfect palette if you have like a little cousin or whoever or even yourself if you want to explore um that is just like listening to i don't know what's the new emo shit or whatever they're getting into but you know how they're starting off a black liner and all that give them this it's like ten dollars i think super affordable really great don't get the Venus one, even though it's great packaging. I wish I could have it just for that. Oh, and also, I forgot to tell you what the Tati palette. I like how she added the magentas on there, because that's like an Avril Lavigne vibe. Like, put that in the crease, and then blend it out, and then put the black in the center, and maybe put glitter. Avril Lavigne days right there, people. Oh my god, I want to do one. Should I do an Avril Lavigne inspired makeup? I don't know. Sauce box. Man, people don't talk about sauce box no more. And they had like the best black eyeshadow and even the best shimmers. Like these are great for like you know metal heads and all that. Look at this black eyeshadow. Like, I don't really do swatches that much, people. 
And the reason why I don't like doing swatches because your finger has oils on them. Of course, it's going to go on different than what once you prep and prime and everything on your face. So it's going to show different on the eyelid. The eyelid is a different texture than your finger. So remember that. That's why I don't like doing swatches and that's why you're not seeing swatches. However, this does have some fallout because it's basically pressed pigment. So you got to be careful with it. And I've used this before in a tutorial as like, like I said, I'll leave links below or at the end of the video. Regardless, you'll probably get both ways because you can only put up like four of those links and that's it but great pigmentation i love sauce box to death it's a little bit more pricier it's like 30 something dollars for that palette but it's you're not going to be done with this i've been having this for five or six years I, i'm still not done with it eyeshadows do last longer by the way when it comes to formulation than compared to liquids and another one that people don't really talk about is zoeva zoeva has great eyeshadow palettes so this is the matte one. Um, I can see like like rocker girls in general or rockers. I'm just gonna say rockers, okay? Because I'm trying to aim for like everyone here because obviously like from like, you know, goth and like emo and stuff like that, even though goth only have like shades and that's it. But this is such a great palette that I believe they're from Germany. You could get them at Ulta if you have an Ulta nearby you. I'm not sure about the UK where you guys could get it from. And then there's also the smoky palette, the traditional smoky shadows. Yes, these are awesome. I love it. They're very wearable. You can even do a neutral if you want to. Highly recommend it. Blend like a dream. And this is a really high-end product. I am a Lancome girl. And I understand if you can't afford this. And a lot of you guys are, when I want to tell you for the price of it, they're like, well, I could get this and I could get that. I get it. But girl, I love those shimmer colors. This is $50. This is by Lancome. I know it's only five shadows, but you gotta remember it's a luxury brand. What do you expect? And of course, there's so many other brands of eyeshadows out there that I love. I'm just showing you right now what is the smoking one. Right now, a lot of people are just so into color or now they're doing neutral because they're kind of over the color. I just love smoky eyes no matter what. So unfortunately, right now, there's not that many other smoky palettes I could find that are really good. Urban Decay used to have one, but they discontinued it. Um... Urban Decay is really hit or miss with me. I like them, but they're very hit or miss with me when it comes to makeup. I wish Anastasia would come out with a smoky palette. I love Anastasia. They have hit or misses as well, but my dream... If I could ever collab with anybody, it'll be with Anastasia. Yeah, you better believe it's going to be a smoky eyeshadow palette. Okay, now moving on to concealers. Okay, so I have a video. This was a while back I did. This is like... I think it was called for like diamond skin girls. I don't know what it was because that's what I call us pale girls, diamond skin girls. Because people always make fun of us and call us translucent. I'm like, yeah, we're translucent like a diamond. What's wrong with that? So, um, I don't really have much concealers. I like to tell you the truth. I just, I barely found one that I love so much. And that is the, um, it's supposed to be like a shape tape knockoff and it's by CoverGirl, the True Blend Undercover. This is such a good concealer for a cheap price. Well, depending where you go, I just realized different drugstores will have them at different prices. Of course, if you go to Ulta, it's going to be more expensive. I think it's like $11.99 compared to CVS, which is like a dollar cheaper. Great concealer. I love it. It's, it's beautiful. It's just the way it blends into the skin like effortless, effortlessly. I, I, I need water. Hold on. But it does such a great job on doing that. And the other concealers, okay. I don't mind him. He's not my favorite. I don't bow down to him. A lot of people suck his dig. I he has hit or misses pro products. I don't care for his eyeshadows. That blue blood palette was just no. I gave that shit away. I gave it to Laura, mundane Laura. That was just a terrible palette. And I don't need the blood sugar one just because I have practically all those eyeshadows in the Ju in Juvia's place because Juvia Juvia's place basically has those eyeshadows for cheaper. They're good. I mean, they're not like the worst, but like, like I said, I haven't found a concealer that I really like. However, they are hydrating. They are hydrating, I will say that. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a sucker for these packaging. You know, he finally did some unique shit to his packaging. So I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like the packaging and that's why I got it. And then after that, I don't think I'm gonna need to purchase it again and I'll just use it for something else. I don't know. So... The thing I will say about his shade range, like, girl, if you... I forgot how much this retails for. I think it was, like, $29. But you want your color, you will find your color with them when it comes to concealers. That's the hard part about, like, um, drugstores. They don't have every shade range. I don't know why. Drugstores, um, products like Revlon and all of them, like, they're billion-dollar companies. They can make, like... Yeah, they could fucking make like a large shade range. I don't know why they... And then here are the Urban Decay um, 
concealers. Again, I didn't really care for them. Um, they're okay. Um, other than that, yeah, I don't really say much. They're not really like the most pale friendliest. I'm surprised 10 CP was okay for my skin color. The, I would not use these as a as an eyeshadow primer because it does blend in with the shadows and I know a lot of people like to use concealer or foundation as eyeshadow pri primers but the problem with that is like when you're putting on let's say you're trying a new eyeshadow palette then you're like oh I see separation stuff like that was well, because the it's it has oxygen I, I it's hard to explain but somebody had explained to me why it does that but basically it's just like you need an actual like eye primer eye primer and then if you want, go ahead a little bit with your concealer, just like even it out or whatever. Um, but that's why like concealers tend to do that to eyeshadow palettes. Don't get me wrong, there's some eyeshadow palettes out there that are shit. But that's why you need this, which like sucks up oils and oxygen or whatever. That way it could go on, you know, much better. And primers, okay. So obviously you saw that I like the Lancome one. I also like the P. Louise one. This is great for a white base. However... Since we're mainly smoky eye girls and we love black eyeshadow, I do not recommend this with any black eyeshadow just because it will turn it gray. So just to let you know. Too bad I don't have a black one. That would be so great if P. Louise will come out with a black one. On the cheaper side, I don't have it with me, but Milani has a great cheap eyeshadow primer. Revlon also has a good eyeshadow primer as well. And now we are going to talk about foundations, people. Now I'm just going to tell you my favorite ones. Now in the last video, um, which I already left a link somewhere, um, I talked about that I like the Marc Jacob ones because it's great there's like ghostly pale however the only problem i have with that one is it dries up super quick and i hate the applicator so if you're oily skin you may get more use out of it just remember you have to work quick with it okay because it will dry up from the bottom and then that's an expensive foundation it's 50 dollars. so i still stand by those um foundations especially rcma now we're going to talk about lancome this is a good full coverage one this makes you look like you have like actual skin because you know how some foundations it looks like foundations which nothing is wrong with that sometimes we want that beat look but if you want like a full coverage it makes you look like you have skin this one's the one for you baby another good one i just recently found out about this one and i wore it in my q a video and i loved it because it looked like i had a filter on like on my camera settings or something like that and i don't use filters i don't know how you use any of that shit on on when you're recording it's not like instagram where it's easier but this is a smith and called um veal thread some people didn't like it but i did this is such a good foundation people said it was separating a lot right there for them i didn't realize that made because i was using like i'll show you the powder in a minute that i was using that one was 42 dollars, i believe the lancome one was 49 and this kogan dough okay you do not need to buy this one this was 70 dollars. the only reason why i got it was because i got a discount when i used to work for macy's so this is really good though and it's really hydrating as well i'll try to use it in the video so you guys can see how it works but if you got the money i say go for this one as well also i'm just letting you know I am dry to combination. Majority of my my foundations they tend to be for like normal or dry to combination. And because like I am very active on my skincare routine, I do take care of my skin. I do invest in skincare products. And I'm just letting you know, no matter what foundation you get that claims whatever, it is not going to go great on you unless you know your skin type and you're investing in good skincare products. Just letting you know. So that's why for me it's easily to know when there's something wrong with a foundation. I don't like it. So anyways, the next foundation right here is the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing I Need Water by Shiseido. And this has SPF 30 in it. So some people were complaining that it was breaking them out because of the SPF. So just to warn you, this is a great foundation foundation. It like made me look porcelain. Like like por porcelain. And another one that I like, but they're discontinuing it, and I don't know why. It's such a great foundation. I get a lot of compliments on this is the all nighter by our urban decay this is in 0.5 i get the best compliments out of this supposedly they're reformulating it and it better not suck why you gotta do this to me urban decay like r.i.p to the all nighter can we have a moment of silence please now for all you goth girls there's a shade out there lighter than the vanish seamless finish liquid foundation by hourglass they do have it in a stick form really i suggest going for the stick form better but however this color in blanc 
this is even too pale for me and I love it so when I have like those like vampire days I go for that contours and all that I'm just gonna end up with contours because I get the feeling a lot of you don't care about blush I don't know why I love blush and when I hear people say I hate blush I'm like no wonder you look like you have sideburns right here because if you don't put a blush on top of that contour it looks like you have sideburns um when it comes to um contour or like even bronzing or anything like that I go for this um throw shade makeup obsession powder that thank you Laura for sending to me you could get it here at the states too don't worry you could get them at Target makeup obsession is sold at Target I forgot to mention that so I love this it's it's good to put in a freelance kit they blend effortlessly you could use this as for eyeshadows as well for all you guys that just like neutrals and don't like to go any further than that now they don't have a variety of shade but the very M one has a good contour slash bronzy shade and then the shimmer for highlight right here is not that crazy it does kind of go well on my skin tone to my surprise I thought it was gonna be darker and obviously you guys know I love cream contour so Anastasia has a good one right here um, she has the palette one but chances are not a lot of you use a palette I do like using the palette ones I can use all those shades in there um, for the light fair girls here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, loose powder this is such a great powder it goes well on almost every foundation I've tried the line smooth and it sets all days it sets like a pretty good all day and if you're in the UK once again there's a brand called collection prime and ready this is really good underneath the eye as well to like you know blot throughout the day they don't come with a sponge though that's the only thing so you might want to have a little sponge or a brush and as for lipsticks and lip glosses lip glosses I love the Anastasia ones I love the Buxom ones those are great I love Buxom really kind of gives you like a plump and Anastasia really has like a lot of pigmentation to it lipsticks I'm all over the place girl it just really depends I am not big on liquid lips unless it's like the Kiko, Kiko Milano ones and maybe Too Faced but I'm trying to stay away from Too Faced because I just don't like Jared Landino whatsoever Jeffree Star had a had okay ones they weren't bad but really when it comes to lipstick I'm a MAC girl from to the day I die it's like Plum Dandy's Plum Dandy's always gonna be my favorite Snob is always gonna be my favorite Lip liners by MAC are usually my favorite or the Rimmel London ones. Rimmel London's have like really good liners as well. It's just MAC, there's more colors to choose from. And best affordable lipsticks you could find is like Wet n Wild or NYC. I don't know if NYC is still around anymore, but they had great nude colors. Um, but they're packaging shit just to let you guys know. And yes, I do like Lancome lipsticks as well. They're great. I love them. And going back to pressed powders, I do like using the Clinique ones. Um, Clinique has one called the Stay Matte Universal Blotting Powder. It's great for us, you know, translucent diamond vampire girls. Like, we need that. And if you do one that's like your shade and you're fair like me, the Stay Buff one is 01. It's really great. Like, it's, it's basically like an HD powder but without the flashback. I do have the Fenty one. I just, I didn't think it was the best one to tell you the truth. The same thing with the Jeffree Star one. Jeffree Star is actually pretty decent. I just hate the smell, but it doesn't come nowhere near close to my Anastasia. And as for highlighters, I'll put them around here. We really don't need to go into detail. Just the Max Silver Dusk one is not as intense, that or the Soft and Gentle one, but it that's basically, you know, highlighters are just supposed to see like a little glow and that's it from where the light hits. You're not supposed to see like a large amount of white that makes it look like somebody jizzed on you or yearned on you you're more in the golden skin tone but anyways my battery's dying and that's all i have for you guys thank you so much for watching y'all take care of your vaginas and have a bonerific day